What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the new formatter API in iOS 15 and Swift 5.5. This is a way where you can convert your dates, numbers, uh, integers, you know, currencies, collections into nice formatted representations. This is a far uh, improved way to do it in iOS 15. We'll take a look at some practical examples today. If that sounds good, start by dropping a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're into iOS and want to stick around. That all said, let's talk about some new formatters. All right, let's go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a brand new playground. So I'm gonna to go to File, New Playground. Bear in mind, this is Xcode 13, Beta 1. We're gonna stick with the blank template here and let's go ahead and call this Playground Formatters uh, Updates. Since we're gonna talk about updates to formatters, everyone's least favorite topic. And let me just go ahead and expand my uh, playground here as soon as Xcode decides to load up. Bear with it, there we go. Let's go ahead and expand this and talk about formatters. So formatters, what are they? So quick, uh, quick recap for those of you that don't know. So whenever we would have something like perhaps a date or maybe we had uh, a number that we wanted to show as like currency, let's say $12.32, there are a variety of formatters available uh, in Foundations framework, which allow us to convert this to something more legible. So for example, uh, a date you might want to show as something like, I don't know, June 22nd, whatever today's date is, 2021. Similarly with currency, you would want to say $12.32 or 12 euros wherever you reside. And it was kind of a bit of a pain to do. You would have to create a format. Let's say you wanted different formats throughout your app. Uh, let's say instead of this date like this in another uh, part of your app, you wanted something a little more compact. It was kind of a pain. So Swift 5.5 and specifically uh, iOS 15 now offers far uh, improved formatter APIs. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I'm gonna create a function called do something. I'm gonna paste all that stuff back in here. We're gonna call do something down here, which is going to print out some of the stuff that we're gonna be writing that we'll see in a moment. And let's go ahead and talk about these formatters. So I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna start off with dates. So instead of creating a formatter like we used to, such as this guy, now all you need to do is say date dot formatted. Look how nice and clean that is. And let's go ahead and run our playground and let's see what we actually get. And then we'll talk about some customization because there there is ways to customize every little piece of the formatted output. So hopefully my playground decides to uh, cooperate today and doesn't take forever to load here. If yours ends up taking too long, go ahead and just give it a pause and try it again eventually ends up working there it is cool so we've got our format here so it is june 22nd 708 pm so cool that's awesome but what if we wanted to change it and show only a part of the particular format so in the actual formatted uh, constructor here there are a few types so you can specify date and time you can actually specify uh, really granular format components so let's take a look at date and time so for the date, we can specify a date style here. So maybe we'll go ahead and say, uh, we want this to be the completes, and then we want the time to be omitted. And let me just copy and paste this and do one more. Maybe here we'll go ahead and say abbreviated, and we'll also go ahead and let's see what else is available for time. We'll go ahead and say, instead of standard, let me just say short shortened, and let's see what we actually get. So. Go ahead and run your playground one more time and let's see what we end up getting right down here. All right, so there is a full one. Then in the second one, we are completely omitting the time. We only see the date in the long formats. And this one down here, we see the abbreviated uh, date, except it's you know spelt out with June's uh, characters. And basically you guys get the point. So let me do one more example here, and I thought this one was pretty cool too, where if you really wanna control what you end up getting, you can do things like year, and then you can say, go ahead and also do, let's see if I can get this syntax right. You can also do month, and that's not how you spell month, month. And we'll see if my syntax there is correct, but basically you can chain these guys together 
and it looks like it's yelling at me so let's see why that is expected member name following the dot let's see why that is maybe we don't need the uh, parens here let's go ahead and do that and that we do need that last one that's for the print statement here let me just do the year and see what we end up getting essentially you can supply these components here and let me go ahead and pass in. Let's try this one more time. So if I open this up, the one that we're trying to use here is this one right here, format, which is a format style. And we're going to go ahead and say format style dot. Let's see if we can do this like so. And worst case, if I can't get the syntax, we'll go ahead and uh, just move on. But you guys do get the point that this is in fact available to you to customize through the individual components. And it looks like I'm not getting the syntax, so I'm not going to waste everyone's time. Let's move on to the next thing. I'll post a link in the description for the proper syntax of this. But the next thing I want to talk about are numbers. So numbers are also a great topic that everyone loves to get annoying, annoyed with. So let's say we have a percentage here. So we'll just go ahead and actually call a number for the sake of simplicity. And let's say it's 99 and we want to go ahead and uh, print this out as a percentage. So I can just go ahead and say number similarly dot formatted. And actually what's really cool about this, you don't even need to assign this to a uh, variable. You can actually get away with doing this, which I thought was pretty interesting because what Apple did here is they created uh, the formatted API right off of the number type. So integers and doubles and all that good stuff. And we can go ahead and say format this as a uh, percent. So now we should see 99 with a percent sign like so. So let me also go ahead and put a uh, put a break in here so we can separate the dates and the uh, percentage. And let's go ahead and do a couple more. So we have percent in here. Let's see what else is available. So uh, it's definitely not just percent, but if you do start typing percent, um, you do see, well, in this case, it doesn't actually show you uh, the other options, but let's go ahead and see if currency is one of them. I believe it is. There we go. We should see currency like that. There is also uh, a significant numbers where you can specify floating points. So let's see what we can find in here. You can find uh, a bunch of different ways to do this. So significant numbers significant bit counts uh there's just tons but currency and percentage are by far the most common ones so let's go ahead and see if we do some obnoxiously large number and let me actually add three floating points so we can see how this formats it so looks like this is yelling at me let's go ahead and drop one of these i think what swift is actually doing here is uh i thought it was actually checking the number of floating points but it looks like it's still yelling at me so let's see it's saying currency what part of this is not correct let me get rid of the dot and let's see if that satisfies it. it looks like this is still yelling at me and i suspect it takes some parameters ah there we go so the currency actually does in fact take in the currency code so in this case i'm going to go ahead and say that maybe this is a dollar sign and it looks like that was a string and we should get that printed out here. So let's see, we're seeing 989. That is not what we want. Let's see why this is yelling at me here because it's saying editor placeholder in source file. That's not what we want. So we're saying uh, 989 and then we're going to say some obnoxious uh, long number here. And let's see what we end up getting. So it looks like this is not formatting it. And I must be doing something incorrect here because I was using this earlier and it definitely does work. So let's see, we can do currency, we're going to open this up, and let's see what it is. So point being, you guys can definitely use currency. I'm, again, I'm not going to waste your guys' time, you guys can look it up, you get the point. I'll throw something in the uh, description down below. And let me line break one more time and show you guys one more way to format. And this one I think is pretty cool too. So let's say you have a collection, right? So let's say we have uh, a collection of company names. And maybe you wanted to take these company names and create a string out of them, right? So let's say we have Facebook, Google, uh, Apple, and let's go one more. Let's go with Microsoft. And let's say you wanted to show a string that said something like Facebook, comma, Google, comma, Apple, comma, and Microsoft, right? So basically 
the proper grammatical string. And this is pretty commonly used if you've ever used an app like Instagram. In the comments, you'll see liked by John, Jen, and five others. So pretty, pretty common, right? So the way you can actually get this to uh, be formatted, once again, just like before, we can go ahead and say dot formatted. And the nice thing is that Swift will take care of the heavy lifting and it'll do the comma separation and it knows where to place the and uh, word, I guess, uh, appropriately, which is before the final element here. So pretty cool stuff. There's actually way more formatters that are in the foundation that I haven't even gotten a chance to get to myself. But these are the ones that I've started to use personally in some of my later newer code. So I figured I'd share with all of you. So we've got dates, super common. We've got numbers for currency percentages, very common as well and collections. Now I'm not sure if this actually works with sets. So let's go ahead and let's see if I can get away with doing this. I have a feeling it will because formatted I believe is off of the base sequence class, but I won't get into the weeds of standard library for all of you guys. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Pretty short and sweet video, very off the cuff, hence all my mistakes here. I'll try to link down below to the documentation for the new formatters. Drop a like down below if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're into iOS and want to stick around. Almost at 30k subs. Super appreciate it. Plan to go way further over the coming months and years. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.